how did they find that out, bro? Let's see, this is why I can't do drugs and all that, bro. Because I would have been got caught trying to figure out how the hell the police found me with this pack on me. Like, what, bro? What, bro? You gonna just stare at me, bro? You ain't gonna say nothing, bro? Like, damn, bro. What you... Oh, y'all want me to start the game? Oh, my fault. Hey! I'm sorry, Hey yo! Back on Lost Judgment, I told you, man. I gotta get this game completed. I don't even know how far. I don't even know how close I am to complete this game first. We still only 69%! Uh, <laughs> bro, we were 69% last week. Yeah, something's gotta change. We get straight to the gameplay, bro. I'm not playing. I'm not playing with y'all, bro. Yokohama, 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 Yokohama. <coughs> If you missed last, if you missed yesterday's episode, man, make sure y'all go check it out. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. man. What the fuck, man? Get man. your ass on, boy. Ah, just the two I've been waiting for. Excellent work, by the way. Hey. Yo, Pinky, still broke? Of course I do. Who do you think I am? This hat kind of feel goofy, don't you? I, don't I still don't fully forever. get what's going on. Yagami-san, what are we going to do with these? Okay, I'll break it down. First, we call Kawana on one phone. Mm -hmm. Let's say this one here. Then we use this other phone to call Reiko Kusumoto. Reiko Kusumoto. Using them that way. The phones won't be connected to each other, but their voices will be relayed so they can talk normally. Right. Oh, okay. And then? If public security finds out Reiko Kusumoto's talking to Kawana, they'll trace the call without actually finding him. Right, because... And we can see exactly who they send without risk of being seen ourselves. Right. Mm-hmm. I think I'm getting it. Or if we get caught, though. Surely you don't intend to do that here, do you? That would put a beacon on us for Kawana-san's enemies. Yeah, we'll do it somewhere remote. We need a place where nobody would raise an eyebrow at an army of public security boys. And it's got to have a good vantage point. Mm-hmm. Hmm. There's a building under construction not far from here. It's late, so no one should be around that may get involved unintentionally. Where is it? It's right near Seirio High. There's a crane by the river, too. You'll know when you see it. Okay, okay. Okay, Got a you spot. two stay put. I should be able to handle this alone. Yeah, I was trying to do something alone. Uh, you sure about that? Yeah, nah, come on, come on, bro. Nah, Let me at least put out a drone, Yagamishi. Even if it isn't much. I'll use it to capture the faces of Kawana-san's pursuers. All right, nigga, you ain't no top dog. I mean, you are top good. dog, but I'm the top dog. You a top dog, but I'm the top dog. Say it with me now. Say it out together. Y'all might be top dogs, but I'm the top dog. Top dog. I'm the top. Oh, wait, but hey, speaking of, you know, since speaking of games, man, what games, after this game, what game would y'all like to see? I was thinking about playing, trying to play uh, Batman, you know, the new Batman Arkham Knights that's coming out. A lot of people saying they're trash. But you know, they said that about Saints Row too. I actually like the Saints Row. I just didn't finish it because I get on to. But yeah, um, what game should we play on the channel, man? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm all ears, bro. Horror games, PC games, let me know. As far as my PC can hold up. Construction site Sukumo was talking about. We made it to the construction site. We are drawing at it. There you go. Right on top. Right on top. You never late. I don't think I'd be more stealth. This is Tsukumo. Yagamishi, I've confirmed your position. Alright, what are you looking for, bro? Yeah. I think I can spot whoever comes close from here. Why would you stand right there? I'm gonna right call Kawana on the burner now. Understood. <laughs> it's Kawana. You ready? I'm about to call Reiko Kusumoto. Once you're connected, you take it from there. It's been five years since I last spoke to her. Yeah. Can't imagine this won't be awkward. I know. Okay, do it. What about business right now? We ain't got time to be acting awkward. What the? This tape deposit so you're like kind of rinky dink ass technology this nigga got going on. Oh, oh. Shit, man. Oh. 13 years in the corner, bro. He 37 years old now. What? 
think I'll call some other things here, Phil. Tom Holland! Man, what the fuck? Man, I don't wanna talk yo b Come on, why is Yes, so hello. This is Kitakata from Kurokawa Academy. What? You'll mm -hmm. have to forgive me for this, but the position I'm in required me to reach out to you. I would never have done this otherwise. I should also note, there's a high probability this phone call is being tapped. I see. Very well, then. It's been 13 years, Kusumoto-san. So it has. Kitakata-sensei. I've read about your accomplishments. To think you'd become a vice minister. You never really know how things are going to work out. Ah, uh, but that's not true at all, Kusumoto-san. You were always destined to move up in the world. I've got to be honest with you. A woman as virtuous and as capable as you deserves the world and then some. Mm. But... How is Mitsuru-kun? I'm afraid he's still asleep. Nothing's changed. It's hard to get enough to hear, ain't it? I wish I had the words. What is it you wanted? If you've been watching the news, you've probably already heard. I've become a prime suspect for a crime. They think I murdered Yokosawa in her apartment. I've heard. Obviously, it wasn't me who killed her, of course. Do you happen to remember Sawakun by any chance? The girl from your class. She was the only one of those students who ever came to visit Mitsuru. But mm. even then, that's been at least ten years now. I got a letter from her once. She wanted to tell me she'd become a teacher. But I never did reply. And that was the last I'd heard from her. I see. So back to my question. What do you want? God damn! Damn, what? I Tell him down. planning to ask me for a favor. I'm afraid the answer would be no. No, it's not that. It's just... I wanted to let you know that at some point, someone may come to you to ask a few questions about me. I thought I should give you a heads up. I'll make every effort to ensure they won't cause any trouble for you, Kusumoto-san. I'm sorry about this. I'll try to handle it from my side. So in your opinion, then... I believe she killed somebody. Do you believe anything related to you could cause me any trouble? Hell yeah. You... Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be just... Related to him? You killed him with your own hands! What? What are you talking about, bro? Right. You're almost to the signal. Kill the headlights. Two cars inbound. Looks like we were right on the money. This proves Reiko Kusumoto's phone is compromised. And if there's one organization capable of tracing a call and moving on it, it's got to be public security on the hunt for Kawara. Public security is really coming straight to you by car? No. There's no way they could mobilize their people that quickly. Listen, RK. My guess? It's got to be the prefectural police that they've got in their pocket. Or it's just RK. It's RK. I will say it's been great to hear your voice again. But this should be the last time you ever hear from me. I'll try my best. I understand. Goodbye. I hope that, I hope that little nigga wake up before the game over. All this was just to prove that um, public security can track out this tracking our calls, bro. And sending out some little shrimps. Hey, look. It's a drone. It has a phone attached to it. Shoot it. Shoot it down. You sure? Uh, just take it down. Hurry it up. Trash. Hey, what the fuck are you aiming at? I can't hit it. It's too small. Trash. You got Shit. real gun. I ain't seen a gun in this game Damn, yet. Dude. How the hell are we supposed to chase down a drone? And where the fuck is this Kuwana guy? Who knows, man? They called us in to catch this shithead, but how the hell are we supposed to do that? It's fucked up. Do we look like spec ops? Yeah, right? But at least you gotta shoot that thing. <laughs> this is my second time, actually. I took a few shots at some kids in a park. At some kids? <laughs> I aimed at the ground and sent those little shits running for their lives. <laughs> <laughs> We're done here. Pack it in. Pack it in? What are we talking about, right? 
That's six punks and only one gun between you by my count. Tiger! Stupid. Who the fuck are you? He topped him. It was you guys in charge. I'm sure Kawana would have had this whole thing solved a long time ago. Well, then again, I suppose I do have to give you credit for how fast you got here. Stupid, the gun is gone. Gun, asshole! Go get another one. Who's the one giving the orders? You may as well just level with me. You guys are RK's bottom rung, right? It sounds like you must know Kuana. <laughs> well, I guess we're not gonna be leaving here empty-handed after all. Why would you do Come this, on. jogging bro? We're taking this guy in, boys. Fuck him up! They always talk about some fuck them up. When they be zooming in your thing, like, oh, you know, you know, some forces? Them hoes are hard. Yeah, I'm about to put you to sleep, man. It's two purples? Yeah. Again, go to sleep. I forgot he was fighting a top dog. I mean, one of the top dogs. He's a top dog, but not the top dog. I better put him. Now, tell me who gave you all the orders. Who sent you here? The order came from the head honchos in RK. Soma and... You mean Soma? Not that high up. It was one of the bosses. There's a bunch of them. What did they tell you to do once you found Kuwana? They just said to catch him. Well, they also made it very clear not to kill him. <laughs> like we'd pull the trigger. We never even heard what our cut was. Damn. Just another okay, useless shrimps. grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, gentlemen, how would you feel if you found out you were just pawns in public security's game? Uh, we're playing what game now? I suggest you quit RK while you can. Go tell your buddies, get them out too. Otherwise, they'll keep you in the dark, use you, and toss you aside. And then, you'll end up in a ditch there's no crawling out of. <laughs> He's spitting real spill just to get you, just to get you, get you locked in for real. Is he gonna wake up? Did he move? I thought he moved. Why are you yes. tweeting playing this game? I'm about to get some rest. Who the fuck is this? Pardon me. You would be Reiko Kusumoto, correct? He's not about to kill us. Sir, it's a little late for this. And how'd you get in here in the first place? I've expressly forbid having visitors. <laughs> Come now. I'm a coordinator with the National Police Bureau, but I'm sure you're familiar with my division of public security. Bondo is my name, ma'am. Are you Bondo? <laughs> well, I'm afraid coordinator is rather vague. Blow I have off. a more public-facing title as well, of course. But I'm trying to be discreet here, so let's not get bogged down with minor details. It's in our best interests. I'm afraid that won't help. I've already seen to that. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? There's a question I need answered with some urgency, Kusumoto-san. It concerns the disappearance of a certain individual. Huh. About five years ago, a man vanished off the streets of Kamurocho. I'm sure you'll recognize him. A former classmate of Mitsuru here, Shinya Kawai. They already locked in, twin. Right now, I can say that with some <laughs> level of certainty as a matter of fact. Oh man, it's over with. She done got caught red handed. How the hell did they find that shit out? How did they find that out, bro? Ow. Let's see, this is why I can't do drugs and all that, bro, because I would have been got caught trying to figure out how the hell the police found me with this pack on me. Like, what, bro? Introduction. Undercover. Chapter 11. Bro, how many chapters in this game? I'm about to look at her. Quick, bro. I'll find her. Thirteen. Oh, we on eleven. The game about to be end. The game about to be end, bro. Can you speak with proper grammar, bro? Like, what are you doing? A few days later. Damn. You've done it again, Sukumo. Can't believe you found it. Now what? <laughs> I figured Mitsuru Kusumoto would be in one of the better hospitals around the health ministry. 
That narrowed it down to just a few locations. Then I pinpointed the exact one through sheer determination. And that led you to Toto University Hospital. So Mitsuru is still lying in a coma mm -hmm. there? Yep. Reiko Kusamoto has been visiting her son every night for the past 13 years. Even I mean, after she became vice minister. Any mom would do that, though. If you gentlemen want to meet her in person, that would be your best chance. She's not going to pull up no more, though. She's just got got. You seriously think you can convince Reiko Kusamoto to turn herself in? Yeah, yeah, I'm top down. Well, I'm going to try at least. She's at the top of the food chain. If it comes out that she committed murder, the whole country's going to lose it. If they hadn't tried to hide it, nobody else would have needed to pay for it. Sawa sensei. Right, he keep bringing the song yeah. up, say, don't he? He must right. have been hitting her on cheeks on and the And if song. she confesses to killing Kawhi, public security will run out of reasons to keep defending RK. So in theory, that should free up the police to pursue Soma about Sawa sensei. Right, 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 right. Totally agree with you there. But Kawana-san's against that, right? Didn't he say he wouldn't let her turn herself in? Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's not in the loop on this. Oof. So, you're just gonna show up? You do know she's probably surrounded by public security at all times, don't you? I doubt it. Just means we gotta be prepared for that. Like the professional detectives we are. Prepared? How? <laughs> just leave it to us. Yagami-san, I gotta go get ready. Let's meet at Toto University Hospital. Got it. Go get so, yeah. ready. What the what do y'all be doing when y'all going so to get ready? So what do you ready? need from me in this Yagami? Yeah, why is he here? Got any old acquaintances in RK? Think you can find out where Soma and Akutsu are? You forget who you're talking to? Top dog. Tell why him. wouldn't I be able to cover that? I knew a few ex-Tojo guys who go in and out of RK on the regular. Thanks. Watch your back. They find out you're spying on them, they won't like it. Mm. I'll be ready. Like the professional ex Yakuza I am. See ya. <laughs> he's rough around the edges, but in the end, he comes through. Oh. Yeah. Turns out he's got extra time on his hands. Why don't you hire him at your office, Yagamishi? Hell no. <laughs> that man's crazy. I'll talk about that with Kaito san once he recovers. Damn, Kaito's too. Anyway, no. sorry, Tsukumo. We have to take Sukiura from you again. <laughs> Why start apologizing now? It's all good. We'll talk again soon. Something's gonna happen to him, bro. He got them. I should head to Toto University Hospital and convince Reiko Kusumoto to turn herself in. <gasps> She's just not coming out. We caught We called her. Damn it. Hold your this. Am I in the back seat? Why is he driving a taxi, bro? <sighs> Your phone is compromised by public security. Take your phone like you're going to actually go there. I'm trying to help you out. She probably used to be bad back in her day. What are you? Don't worry. I'll give it back to you after this. I'm sure it's bugged. And we wouldn't want anyone listening in now, would we? When did he learn how to drive a car? And why don't I have a car? We'll take a few laps around the block and then drop you back off at the hospital. I'm sorry, but we just need a bit of your time. Very well. Who are you people? Maybe she cool with it. We're just local detectives, but Kitakata Sensei is an acquaintance of ours. We know about Mitsurakun, and we know that five years ago, a man named Shinya Kawai mysteriously disappeared and died. I have no idea what you're saying. But you do. I know how this must come across right now, so I assure you, we aren't the ones posing a threat. Fine. What is it you want, then? Turn yourself in, loser. All I want is the truth. In your own words, about Shinya Kawai and how you carried out his murder. You're mistaken. I didn't do it. Man, it's a lot of lying going on here. It's a lot of lying going on here. Don't tell me Kawana done pulled one over on us, bro. The other day you received a call from Kitakata Sensei, didn't you? He goes by the name Kawana now and works as a handyman in Ijincho. He made that call because we needed to confirm something. 
Confirm what? Whether or not you were being watched by public security. <sighs> public security, you say? Is she surprised at all? Or maybe she already had a hunch? As it turns out, you are. Your cell phone is bugged. It can even use GPS to trace who's on the other end of the line. That kind of trace is only possible with cooperation from the cellular providers. Unless you're public security could pull something like that off in secret. They want to hit you where you're vulnerable. And that's what you are now, after Kuwana. Do you understand, Kusumoto-san? Mm-hmm. kind of fresh, though. You must really be something special. You were never in this job for yourself. It fell into your lap as your predecessors fell like dominoes. That's why you don't owe anyone anything. You're free of constraints. And Mitsuru-kun's tragedy even gained you public sympathy on top of it. Mm. Combine all that with a capable bureaucrat like you, there's no telling what you could accomplish. You're cleaning up house, tackling the revolving door problems. Things you know are the right moves, but with no regard for the consequences. I understand even the cabinet gauges your opinion, since you have so much public support. But I think that's also made you some enemies. Most likely, whoever's holding public security's leash. Mm. I have more than a few enemies. I'm well aware of that. Okay, now we talk. We and I have no increase. doubt public security would comply with them. To be quite frank, public security only exists to maintain the status quo. Mm. The establishment is made up of various powers which control politics and finance. But naturally, each branch has its own agendas, goals, ideas of justice which leads to all sorts of issues and hindrances, which you call constraints. The more individuals who make up society, the more unavoidable that is. Are you implying it's public security's job to loosen those constraints? Hmm. There is more to it than that. The world we live in requires all kinds of value systems to coexist, even in chaos. But if you loosen the constraints too far, the fall of the state is inevitable. In you that regard, me up, ain't she? public security's role is to stabilize and maintain the state even while bound by constraints. In other words, the constraints of these powers are precisely what are protected by public security. So the fact that I am not caught up in all that does indeed make me something of a pesky foreign object. What the hell are we talking about? I see. So to these establishment people, you're something to be excised. Hmm? I guess there's bullying among adults in high places, too. Yeah. Now we know why they were looking for any kind of weakness in you. And that's when they turned the spotlight on Shinya Kawai's disappearance. An event that was triggered by Akihiro Ihara's case. You know the one, I presume. Yes. An active duty policeman exacted revenge on the bully who drove his son to suicide. Your enemies must have heard that and thought to themselves, what would Reiko Kusamoto have done to her son's bully? She killed him. I'm guessing that's what prompted public security to make their move. As the details of Ahara's case came to light, a group of thugs calling themselves RK started looking for Shinya Kawai, all to find out that he was kidnapped five years ago, probably killed. I never did anything out of revenge. Naturally, she wasn't going to divulge any secrets having just met me. I don't have any, I don't have enough evidence to make her talk. Even after finding out Kawhi disappeared, public security still had to verify it. But if they found out you were involved, that'd be a win for them. They'd finally know Reiko Kusumoto's weakness. How long are you going to keep talking? Damn. As public security figured out, the bullying cases involving Toshiro Ihara and your son share a common link. Mm -hmm. That's all. That link being Sawa Sensei. She was Mitsuru kun's classmate and Toshiro Ihara's teacher. Mm. She stuck and in the middle. That, she was also linked to Ihara's murder victim, Mikoshiba. She was his master teacher. Mm. So not long after the murder, RK came to Ijincho and broke into her home. That must have been when they got Kawana's name out of her. I think Sawa Sensei suspected that Kawana hey, was involved in Kushiba's murder. Then Soma steps in. 
with his professional interrogation skills to beat and scare her into spilling everything. Dang. <coughs> Kusumoto-san, you knew she was killed, right? Kawana should have told you over the phone. Wait, are you not one of his colleagues? Hell no. He said he wouldn't cause me any trouble and that he would never call me again. Kawana and I are competitors on a temporary ceasefire. We're not colleagues. <sighs> She's been flustered since our mission. Sawa Sensei's name. This is my chance to ask her questions. I can't ask anyone else. Has public security contacted you? Uh, I'm gonna go with public security. Has anybody from public security contacted you? Have you been approached by any strangers? I have my suspicions. What are their names? Bando. I imagine what they wanted was to exploit your weakness to control you. Because if all they wanted was to eliminate you, some kind of accident would be easily arranged. Mm. Yes. I suppose you're right. Do you have any idea what these people are after? And do you mind sharing? You know what's crazy, bro? All this going on, bro, and this shit be happening in real life. It really do, bro. Like, niggas just be getting set up for accidents. I don't want to talk about that. Talk. They want oh, to control the about, pension fund. Yeah. Which is under the health ministry. The real top pension. dogs. Pension fund? An independent agency within the ministry manages the national pension fund. It's taxpayer funded. And it's worth 160 trillion yen. What? <laughs> and certain groups want to take bigger risks with that money in order to generate more profit. In other words, they want the health ministry to use taxpayer money to gamble. Wow. They believe that's the only way to rebuild Japan's faltering economy and secure the future of this country. That's what makes it worse. I mean, would it work? Of course, if the gamble actually pays off. But if it don't. But if we lost the gamble, then we wouldn't be able to guarantee anything for the citizens of this country in their golden years. Mm. That's why the health ministry manages those funds conservatively, even if it means the returns are lower. Okay. I'm starting to understand now. You do? Don't leave me in the dust, Yagami san Keep your eyes on the road. To be able to gamble all this taxpayer money to save the economy, they need a change of management. Mm, so they're going to take her and out. Here's Kusamoto san, head of the office. And she's beyond the control of even the ministers. Her position has the power to take action, to override the way the pension fund is managed. But not only does Kusumoto san have the power, she has the support of the people. Right. If a new vice minister were to try it, they'd be stopped cold by the constraints. So that's why they wanted to find her weakness and exploit it? Exactly. And if the 160 trillion yen gamble were to fail, I can blame the whole thing on Kusumoto-san anyway. Okay. Wow. 160 trillion. It's crazy, right? I'm guessing they've already contacted you about it. Yeah, That's yeah. an assumption. She's been flustered. Okay. Next. Uh, I should ask her how I was I have to ask going. you about Shinya Kawai. You killed him five years ago. With your own hands, didn't you? Oh, she did. Go on. I understand what you're saying. wasn't lying. Okay, okay, okay. But was that really the only answer? If you've spoken to Kitakata Sensei, then you must know about the video of how Mitsuru was treated. Yes. I do. Aside from Kawai, the other students pretended like nothing happened. They took no responsibility, they put on their sad faces. And they came to visit Mitsuru at the hospital. But looking back on it now, I don't think they really wanted Mitsuru to wake up. In fact, that's what they were checking on. And what did I do? I bowed my head and thanked them. It was only later that Kitakata Sensei showed me that. The hey, she sound like he horror, bro, with that rage. She sound like she getting mad, like he horror got mad. Hey, yeah. I don't know. That's when I knew that those kids going unpunished was wrong. She sounds like you are, don't she? And your solution was to pull them into the quagmire? Quagmire? Make them accomplices in murdering Kawai? If you already know so much, 
What more do you need to ask? Yeah, let me ask you to turn yourself in. How's your son doing? How's your son doing now? He could wake up any minute now. Of course, that's been true for the last 13 years. 13 years in a coma is crazy. We transferred him to the hospital just this year, hoping they could spur his recovery. But it turns out they don't do anything much different from the previous hospital. All I can do is wait. So many patients. Yo, nothing. How about say? What else? What I get questions? it now. Let me reiterate. We are not your enemy. Then please, let me go. Okay. Anything you want me to tell Kawana? I do. He needs to run. Far away. Public security has their sights on him. His capture is not a question of if, but when. He's in danger if he remains in the country. And once public security has him, they will extract everything he knows. You mean he'd be tortured? Yes. Somewhere well beyond the public eye. Mm. No one can withstand what they do. He'd tell them everything. And as for me... They would expose your vulnerability, making you their pawn. Most likely. They'd gamble away the taxpayers' money, and I'd never purge the corruption in the health ministry. Mm. I get that. What does it matter? What? Why the hell did he say that? Because in my opinion, you need to turn yourself in, kusumaru san <laughs> You want me to admit to manslaughter? You think I killed a real man? I say he was less than one. Shinya Kawai. He was little more than a subhuman brute. And you saw it. You saw what that brute did to my son. Does he horror talk? I hated Kitakata Sensei. He was an incompetent teacher. An idiot who turned a blind eye to Mitsuru being tortured. But that changed when he suddenly showed up eight years later. And then he showed me that video. He said, Every bully in that video, they deserve to be punished. That it was the only way to get closure. You took him up on it? But you of all people should have known better. True. You're right about that. I struggled with it quite a bit. It's an unconscionable act, no matter how deep your animosity runs. But Kitakata Sensei's words hung on. I couldn't get them out of my head. Yeah. I saw for myself. I went to Kamrocha, where I'd heard Kawai was working, at a girls' bar. So you know, after Mitsuru jumped that day, Kawai came to me in tears to apologize. I hadn't seen him in all that time. If he'd frozen in place when he saw me, if he'd been the slightest bit apologetic, I might have been able to stay my hand. I take it he didn't do any of that. <laughs> right. He didn't even recognize my face. And that's hardly the worst part of it, actually. When he saw me, he took me for some bawdy cougar on the prowl for young men. If you got the cash, I'll show you a good time, he said. Ah. All those tears he'd shed years earlier were a farce. But I knew them. Deep down, I'd already known that. That was it. That was the moment I lost all doubt about killing him. And as for those other kids who bullied Mitsuru, they should thank me they didn't share his fate. <clears throat> but that's why. That's why I don't feel like I have any sins to atone for. Every night. Every night I pray he will wake up. What more can you ask me to endure? Kawana said something similar. But you think you can repeat all that? This time say it to her. Uh. Isn't that... Sawa-san? You and Kawana can congratulate yourselves. You got vengeance on a monster. But what you're choosing not to see is that your actions had consequences for her. And she actually was the one that really cared and came in. I've seen this before. Justice for one at the cost of another. 
Someone innocent always pays the price. I won't... I won't just sit here and watch as history tries to repeat itself. That's probably reference to something in the first game that I did not play. isn't being traced by anyone. So, if you have a change of heart, just give me a call before you turn yourself in. That's all I had to say. We're back. I know you just gave her some real dilly Vander Holyfield spiel. They were driving around for about 30 minutes, but I've been recording for 30 minutes. <laughs> I think she's gonna turn herself in. Nope. Me either. Eugene Joe, y'all here okay, Yagami son? Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Kawana. Need to tell him I met with Reiko Kusamoto. He's gonna be pissed, you know? He's gonna try to rip you a new one. That's true. Rip you a so new one. You might want to sit this one it's out. It's a crazy term. <laughs> you sure? Rip because you a new one? I'll totally take you up on that. He's gonna try to rip you a new one. Like, who thinks to say something like that? I'm talking about beating somebody's ass. Who thinks to say, oh, I hate my rip you a new one? Wait, what? Am I going the right way, bro? I don't even know. Yeah, I was going the right way. You got the way, boom, nigga. Can I go upstairs, bro? Am I going the right way? I am. Indeed. Not even here. He's gone. Well, look who we have here. Haven't seen your mug in a while. It's only been two or three days. Where's Kawana? Hmm, how should I put this? <laughs> Would you freak out if he was right behind you? You know, this kind of shit is why you get on my nerves. Couldn't we have done this by phone? No! I just came from seeing Reiko Kusumoto. I told her to turn herself in for murdering Kawhi five years ago. You what? <laughs> Sick. What did she have to say about that? But she had no sins to atone for. Of course not. Look, what do you think you're doing? Her part in this is done. Don't drag her back into it. This isn't yours to finish. You would just let Sawa Sensei stay collateral damage. How do you think her folks feel? They probably think you killed their daughter. They don't know why, or if justice will be served. Do they have to suffer like that? All without even knowing the truth? <sighs> Would Sawa sense they want that? Eat his ass a we talk about justice, but she keeps getting left out. We're gonna fight again, bro. We aren't even trying when it comes to her. Say whatever you want, but if you cause Kusumoto-san any more pain, I will never forgive you. I don't care. That's exactly why I didn't tell you I was going to meet her. Listen, Yagami. She hides it well, but she's never gotten over the fact Mitsuru tried to jump to his death. And she's not sure how to feel about killing Kawai. Unlike me. If she was anything like you, I would have pushed her harder to confess. There's no evidence that she killed Kawai. He simply vanished from Kamurocho, and the police didn't even know about it. Besides, there's no case without a corpse. Point being, she'll never be charged. He hiding a corpse in the freezer there. Right, Kawana has Kawana has Kawhi's body hidden somewhere. I remember you and mommy said so. Even if she did turn herself in, the police wouldn't know what to do with her. Don't think for a second that you're getting a pass here. You've killed what? Seven people now? Do you even hesitate anymore? Hell no. Hey, he really killed eight. You got proof? Running around making baseless accusations. You sure you were a real fucking lawyer? My colleagues in Kamrachar are getting ready to appeal Ahara's case. Your actions are going to be put under a microscope. I wouldn't even call that bad news. I want the world to know their bullies are getting what they're due. And by then, I'll probably be going by a different name. Maybe even a different look. Shit. You're just going to keep doing this? Did Sawa Sensei sacrifice mean nothing to you? Is that the only thing keeping you around? Truth be told, I don't think exposing everything is even in Sawa's best interest. What? Sawakun herself felt guilty. 
I just sent you the proof. What? What is this? An audio file? After Ahara-san lost in court, she called me. I recorded our conversation. Oh yeah, he did show us the Ahara. Toshiro-kun came running to the roof. His face was pretty swollen. And a few minutes later, a student named Mikoshiba came up looking for him. I'll never forget the fear I saw in Toshiro-kun's face. He told me about everything. The teasing, the beatings, the theft. How nobody was on his side. And yet, I had to deny all this. In front of an entire courtroom. They're making it hard for me to I mean, no be against the corner right now. I'm like, the only oh, witness with no proof whatsoever. Believe me, I never wanted to do that. Sawakun's testimony in court was false, and she was racked with guilt over it. <clears throat> and your first thought was to record it? When she was at her most vulnerable? Yes. And then I played it for Ihara-san. He had the right to know the real reason his son killed himself. All you did was light the fires of vengeance in Ahara's heart because you didn't want to be alone. You know, I've heard that bullying is almost instinctive. That's why people who do it never stop. I mean, think about it. Would you stop cleaning a toilet just because it'll get filthy again? Somebody's always got to get his hands dirty. The hand you mean. You? If it means I can prevent another Mitsuru Kusumoto, yes, I will keep killing. I hope you get caught. These bastards who prey on the defenseless must be punished for all to see. I wish the law would do its job. Because deep down, I don't want to do any of this. I understand what you're saying. But you're taking it too far. Just stop. I'm not listening to you, bro. You're under no obligation. If you really want to stop me, you're gonna have to kill me and call it justice. Even you gotta give it to public security. Mm. I thought you guys were gonna start another fight. It was a bitch cleaning up the mess last time. Next time I go up against him, it won't be just a few scratches. I'm kill him. Well, when that time comes, take it anywhere but here. Yeah, shut your mouth up, Tessa. I think I'll call it a day. I should get back to 99 and rest up. All right, y'all, man. Listen, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, man. I was a was, that was a lot of That was a lot of information to take in on this episode. But um, if y'all want to join this series as much as y'all, let me know by dropping a like on the video. Comment some games that y'all are willing to be seeing on the channel because this game is coming to a close in we are on chapter 11 and i'm looking at this chapter there's 13 chapters left uh yeah comment down below what games y'all are willing to see on the channel it could be horror games pc games public combo games let me know down in the comment section um that being said like i said i do want to try batman arkham knights i hope i'm saying that game right bro but i want to try that it comes out in 20 something of october and then I want you to play God of War Ragnarok. So I gotta get these this game completed so I can be lined up. And just on the channel. Yes, sir. But um, yeah. Anyways, thank y'all for tuning in to your boy Moon Morel. Make sure y'all hit that bell. If you're new, turn on the post notes and subscribe. I love each one. I love each and one of y'all. Now I'll catch y'all in the next video. Now, peace.